Hey folks, Quill18 here, and I have to apologize. I just had a technical problem with my recorder. It crashed during a session of SimCity gameplay, and the recording is corrupted. So we lost some footage, unfortunately. Only about 20 minutes worth of gameplay. But that's why there's going to be a bit of a jump from where you saw us last time to where we're going to go in this episode. But I promise this episode is going to be awesome, and it'll totally make up for anything. Utilities. So even in this town, actually we can build the better sewage treatment plant, and I think that's what we're going to want to do, um, even here. Yeah, let, let's go and do that. We're actually going to uh, bulldoze this one, which is going to be horrible for the ground pollution, and this one over here as well. Just awful, awful, awful stuff. And then we're going to put this over here. Now, if we put it here, it's actually, it is going to limit our ability to build out, especially with the power plant there. Um, you know what, it'll be fine. We can always ship it out to the region if we need a little bit more. So let's get that going on. There we go. That should be enough sewage outflow. And these people won't be happy. Um, but, it's, you know, we do want some lower wealth stuff, though. Because it's going to bring down land value, but it also brings down density. That will come back over time, though. And they'll be happy that the sewage actually works. Sell the neighboring cities. That is fine. And we should be well below the uh, our limit here. And now the f at least the, po the poop is flowing properly in a single direction and should be able to, yeah, should be able to calm like, everything. There's not going to be this back and forth tug of war, which was just ridiculously dumb. All right, train station, going well. 63 a day, excellent, that feels wonderful. Uh, I can go ahead and rezone these commercial areas, I suppose. They're going to have lots of tourists to uh, work with. And I will want some bus stations really soon. So the sewage thing is going to be handled fine in the city, but we still have the problem that we're going to have an overall water shortage. So I would really like to make another city um, my water source. Oh, actually, before I continue, that's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and get the Metals HQ going, which is here. And we are going to place it. It should probably belong somewhere in the industrial area, right? It kind of makes sense. I will put it, maybe I'll put it right here, actually. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. So we're going to have to build around it, because it, it's, it's a ploppable. We can't just uh, build roads through it, so, you know, it's sort of defining some of the shape, but it's not, it's not terrible to rebuild. So we need to cross a certain metal threshold here, so that we can start building a... Um, oh no, we can build a smelting factory right away, that's right. What do you want? Yeah, we will work on doing that. We do need to get our metal profit on the way, but it shouldn't take too long. Oh yeah, we need the smelting division. We do need that. So we need to make a certain amount of profit, which we're not that far away from doing. I can't remember if we've got... No, nope, we do not have all the coal shafts over here. So we're going to go ahead and drop that down right away and try to boost that up. Of course, we'll put a sign, which will certainly help. And we really can get a little bit more for mining down here, and I'm very tempted to do so. The only question mark is a little bit about where to place it. Of course, there's much higher density here, um, but I, I really want this to be properly residential. Whereas here, even though I've got a little bit of residential and a little bit of this and that, uh, this is going to be more my industrial area, so I think I'm going to go ahead, even though it's a lower density, we're going to get that going. We don't need a bajillion dollars over here. So we should be able to turn a decent profit on just this sort of thing. It's going to be okay. It's not optimal, but, you know, keep our industry nicely segregated from everything else. What are you popping up about? Yes. Definitely want this because I want the uh, smelting to go. So we've got that going on. We may end up needing a little bit more storage. We'll see how it goes. Right now we're okay. Not a lot of traffic in the city, so things should be able to uh, flow in and out pretty easily. Uh, healthcare situation is certainly pretty weak, I understand that. Crime, we still have some crime going on, but you know that'll go down over time. The problem is, if you let it accumulate, then it does take a while for your police to bust that all up. Way not enough water. Um, and you know what? I think we are going to flip to a new city right now and get the water situation resolved. We're going to move over to Half Moon Banks over here. And we're going to build on the water. Although, do we want something with slightly more interesting geography? Maybe this rocky ridgeway, because it's kind of, it's going to be really funky. We're definitely going to need some uh, tunnels and things over here. So, you know what, we'll build over here and experiment. 
the kind of tunnels we're going to build here, we could have built in the old version of the game, I believe, just fine. We could just drag it from one side to the other, and we would get a tunnel through the ridge. But now we're going to have more direct control over the actual tunnel, so we might end up with something really interesting. So for now, my focus here is just going to be to get a water industry underway. Even if it's technically going to be losing money, it's going to be okay. So we can come up here. There's a nice ramp there. Of course, we can still have a, the real sort of skyway um, on and off. It's going to be fine. There's not a lot of room up here to actually fit big avenues or anything. So I think this is probably going to be maybe lower population, a little meandery road kind of up here, um, and have little cottages. Maybe even high wealth. I don't know if we can fit in some parks. That would not be a bad thing. Uh, and there's a little bit more room over there, but this is not going to be a big city. I don't want to go like that kind of style, so we're going to see what we can fit in um, and have a, a kind of a quainter little town. Um, I do sort of feel like laying out a bit of an avenue to get started, just because it's a nice backbone to have right from the beginning. What I think I'm going to do, and it is usually good to split your avenue as quickly as possible, just because then you can distribute your traffic a little bit. Um, I think what I'm going to do, though, here is I'm going to take it, I'm going to go this way, and then tunnel kind of under this thin part, and ultimately we're going to loop around in sort of a circle. Instead of building a square, it's just going to be a big round line um, that may even go up the hill on this side. We might go up the hill at the far end, and then down, and sort of loop back around here. But for now, what I'm going to do is just use the arc tool, pull it forward, and then tunnel down under like that. I think that's exactly what I want to start with. Costs a lot of money. We are going to be able to take out some bonds, though. And then... Something rather like that. And like that. And we're going to finish that later on. Wow, that's, that's, actually, that's actually kind of cool. I like it. It's got. It feels relatively realistic, relatively organic, like the sort of thing you would see in real life. You know, that I like that I went through the thinnest part over here because that's what you do when you're going through hilly areas. And the reason that the roads are so curvy all the time in those areas is because they're constantly trying to find the path of least resistance. So I've got that now. Do I want to do? What do I want to do over here? And I can do a bunch of these sort of waves going out, but I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Do we want um, kind of a circle thing going on? Maybe a capsule. Maybe we'll build something that looks kind of that pill shape. Oh, straight line. All right, I'm going to arbitrarily sort of draw a line this way. It's not kind of aligned to anything. Then I can draw another one here, and then go to the arc tool, and bring them like that. Come on, there we go. And do something rather like that. I'm not sure that I'm going to want to keep it round, like curved like that. We'll leave it in now. I'm sure we're going to fiddle around with this connection at some point in the future. So let's get some tax money in here. Let's go ahead and... Actually, that's fine. Wait, oh, oh, this is not good. That is not what I wanted at all. There we go. Something more like that. Finish the residential. Get some commercial over there. A little bit more commercial. And again, I'm just going to mass zone some extra residential just so that we've got a tax base going on. They will need some power. And we will start by purchasing that from the city. And there's no water providers, which is fine. And we'll do the sewage through the region as well. We could put a little cross street this way. Actually, I think that would probably be a splendid idea. Um, what I should have done is get some extra guides ahead of time to try to see where the midpoint is. As is, I'll mostly just have to aim. Oops. I am on the arc tool, I don't want that. Here? Maybe here. And I think that's going to be okay. Hopefully it'll lead to some interesting kind of looking stuff going forward. Um, 
I think I'm going to build another bit of a sub-neighborhood over here. Uh, do I want to follow the curve? Maybe. I think this is going to be a relatively curve-oriented town. Yeah, a little bit of curve, and then a straight, and then actually we'll go back to... kind of a straight off this way. Not enough simoleons for that. All right, well, actually, one of the things we can do is raise the taxes to 11%, and I don't believe that people will complain up to that level. And then, oh, right, the other thing is take out a bond. Oh, right, we can get the big bonds. All right, we'll just take one for now, and then we'll see what we think of that later on. Connect up kind of like this. And again, I'm just going to bulk allocate this stuff, and then, oops, pull some of this back off. that and put in some commercial there instead and get that going actually what I should do way over here is just put down my industrial over here I don't know where the wind is oh good that works out very nicely again there's no way that that stick around but it'll serve as a decent base for now let's kick up the speed which I should have done right away let the city start to establish itself, and yes, it's going to start wanting water right away, and then we will build a good and proper water pumping station right off the avenue here, which is going to be fine, because there's actually not going to be a lot of road traffic to the water pumping. So... And I'm saying that, I'm starting to second guess it. Maybe I should just build something off down here and put it there. And I'm just going to use the dirt road connection for now. Okay. I want to leave myself enough room because this is going to be a major sort of water for the entire region. So it really has to be able to max out its production. There. And so for now, I'm just going to connect this dirt road to the end of the avenue. And obviously, like, the avenue here is going to continue on later on, and we'll reset this connection. But I think that'll be a fine and dandy start. So this is going to be enough water for just this town. I would like to add more capacity. But although, actually, that's a fair decent capacity for now, uh, because it's going to need to be able to supply more. But of course, our monthly income is going to go through the hole. Now, as long as I, I can build the extra pumping stations, right? The extra, what are, what are they actually called? Um, yeah, the extra, the extra basic water pumps. I could add them here, and even if I'm, I'm, I'm in the red, I'm losing money, I can just leave this town and then not come back to it until far, far later when I can ship money to it. And meanwhile, it'll continue to provide water for the entire region, and no one will care. Um, town hall. Yes, yeah, so I think... Well, there doesn't have to be an intersection here. Put a little meandery path over here. And it's not going to service a lot of things. And if it's meandery, even if it connects to the avenue at the other end, uh, people aren't going to use this for casual driving. So it's going to be totally fine to use that for stuff later on. Power situation is, is fine. It's blinking at me, but it doesn't have to be. And what are you complaining about? Not enough freight producers? We actually have a fair amount of industry there. I just don't think they kicked in yet. So I think they're going to be fine. This is actually, this is actually going to be a really really interesting town with a lot of potential given the landscape. Actually, this is going to be one of my favorites, I think, once we really start kind of playing around here. It's not going to be high population, but, you know, you're going to be able to zoom in and get some really nice shot given some of this terrain. I mean, even here, it's not even level, which I like. This looks like a lot of towns I've been in. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Oh, we still don't have any education in the region. We're going to have to get that started soon. Um, you're still doing okay. You know what? I will go ahead and add a second pump. And then we will probably leave this town here. Uh, not enough simoleons? Really? They're that expensive? Oh, all right. Well, I guess we're going to be fine as is then. We've got sort of like raised terraces over here. Hmm. I'm quite fond of this. All right, then you know what? We will use our money to build our little road up here. So, um, I'm going to use, why not, a low-density street for now, quite explicitly.
Yeah, see the way it latches on, it doesn't let me make a nice round corner over there, so I will have to use the arc tool. Actually, I'll probably just use a bunch of arc tools here, because I'll end up with roads that are a little less wonky than if I drew them all by hand. But still kind of curvy and organic. And they don't all have to be curved. He says as he makes them all curved. And we can actually have it come down. Well, again, there's going to be an avenue here. So let's let's fake the avenue with a dirt road. Something kind of like this. And come up over here. connect these two bits with an arc. No, that's not what I want. I guess we're going to want um, straight down this hill. Bulldoze this. Go back over here. Obviously it's going to be replaced with an avenue later on, but we still make it look halfway decent for now. Uh, and maybe we'll upgrade this bit here. Just because there's going to be a little bit of traffic. All right, and then what I want to do is... What are you complaining about? Not enough shoppers. Well, listen. We're going to fit a bunch more little country homes up in here. Wow, happiness is popping like crazy all over the place. And we'll just try to get a higher tax base. Uh, I want to set up a little bit of a... Um, this is almost like a smaller town. Like its own mini town inside of another town. And I actually want to set up part of this as a bit of a main street with shopping. Let me get rid of these houses. Let's set up some more low density streets over here. There, something like that and put a few more homes back here. I, you know, damn, I like this place. Once this starts to fill up with houses, it's going to look beautiful. Now, I don't think I'm going to want houses all over here. In fact, you know what, even though I need the money now, I can't help myself. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and let's bulldoze, well, we'll just bulldoze all these. They'll, they'll come back. And what I'm going to do is just move to the, what do I want? The park tool. And nature. And I'm going to put down a bunch of forest up on this hill. There we go. And let's sort of fill in the areas around here. Some houses will come in and replace some of these trees, but I want it as tree-lined as possible. And we'll have to put in a proper park in here somewhere, because I don't want this to be low wealth up on the ridge. It's going to be really challenging, because there's not much room to work at all, but I would be really happy if we get, say, medium wealth up on here. I'm not sure we're going to be able to pull it off, given the amount of space we've got, but um, we might, we'll probably put one park right over here. Oh, let's do it now! I mean, I suppose I could go right up to a really expensive park right away. Um, and it doesn't really spread any further, though. Just a pond? Oh, they're small. Which works. But I think something like this is more what I want. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to send them to the next level. Maybe, it's hard to tell. Um, where's my value? I don't think that's made the move to the next level. Or maybe it has, actually. I might be to totally on crazy crack. No, no, no. That's Oh yeah, the blue tab. That's what I'm looking for, the blue tab. So they're clearly still low wealth. So we'd probably need a tiny bit more park going on in here. 
you know what, we can go ahead and add the uh, pond in here as well. There we go. And now we've got the color change. There we go. Distinctly going up to the next level. All right, and that's what I'm hoping for. Just just a little bit, just to give some variation. You know, get rid of the, the sort of detached trailer homes and get uh, these... I don't know what you would call them. I mean, two-story homes. Reminds me of these sort of older, more established towns in, I don't know, Midwest America or... Maybe North Midwest, like some of the cute little towns in Michigan that I've seen. I'm not sure. I'm trying to place exactly what I'm thinking of. I don't know. We'll get it next time. All right, and we're still making money. Now, we don't have a fire department. We don't have any crime handling. Uh, I guess we should probably set that up. And I'm thinking... Now, we do have a downtown over here, but I think the real more metropolitan, semi-metropolitan downtown is going to be over this way. And even though I don't usually like building things on Avenue, I think in this case it's going to be perfectly fine for me to do exactly that sort of thing. Let's give them a little bit of space over here, so we're not right at the intersection. Bell. Flag. Clinic. A little bit of space. Something like that, sure, that's fine. And police department. Like so. Flags, of course, or signs, rather. Um, we can probably make do without increasing their capacity for now. And same things with the police. Hopefully we got these guys down before there's too much crime in the area. There we are. Oh, and of course, a town hall. You know what? We'll put the town hall up here. It's not going to have much room to grow, although it can stack a couple of things directly behind it. Ah, you know, room really is at a premium there. Let's do that. There. And that'll be fine, and we get a happiness boost instantly throughout the entire region. If anyone was close to going, yes, and we can rename this city as well. Oh, and we can do the upgrade right away. Um, in the, because uh, I like the way this building looks, this old-fashioned kind of town hall, as opposed to the upgrade, but in the interest of unlocking more stuff for my region, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we will drop, um, we will drop the Department of Safety here. I don't know how likely it is that we're going to want that anytime soon. We don't have a Department of Tourism, even though I don't know how touristy this town is going to be. We do want this to exist in our region, so we may as well go ahead and put it. And, of course, we've got to put the sign out front, like so. Good! Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I like this town. Oh, I'm going to have to think up of a, a good name for this. Might have to come up with something. I don't know, it's got to be cutesy. I mean, Rocky Way Ridge yeah, it's all right, but no, I don't think it's got the right vibe. Oh, they want a church. You know what? A town like this, of course you need a church. Of course I'll do it. Now, will they come from everywhere for the worship? Should I have it up here on the ridge? Again, there's limited amounts of space. But, um, where do we have it? Over here, don't we? Houses of worship. What kind of church should we put in here? I think the church church is going to have the best look. And you know what? I will put this up here. So boom. A lot of extra contentment. I'm, and the thing is, I'm putting it up here for the look of it. Although, there's a very awkward gap going on over here. Oh, I put it on the side road. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Or is it? Mm, that's actually better for the traffic if it's off to the side. So maybe it's fine. Um, I'm worried about going up to higher density. Now, these are all medium density roads, I think. Or did I build it using low density? Oh, they are low density, so they're not actually going to grow. Which I think is what I want up here. I don't know if I want them to grow any bigger than this. Well, we'll see how it goes going forward. You know, towns change, things happen. But this can be, you know, somewhat higher density once, of course, we 
actually get the roads going there. In fact, I suppose we could get that set up now. Oh, they're already medium density. So they can go up to medium density-ish stuff, and actually that's going to be fine. So we'll get little apartment blocks down here, and I think that'll be lovely. Anyway, I know this is going to be another short-ish video, but I'm going to call it a wrap here, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.